Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be your June general channeled energy reading. Um, please remember that it is general so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences and disregard the rest. We're going to go ahead and get started but I wanted to say that there's somebody watching that needed, that asked for something, asked for some sort of like healing, um, clarity, understanding, and I think everybody here asked for the clarity and understanding, but this is something, um, this is something different. It's, it's more along the lines of actual like healing in a sense. like a like something has like I'm being shown like if you were a field doctor you know and somebody is like leg is completely mangled and the person's in extreme pain and the leg like trying to figure out what to do and like the doctor's like I think I gotta take the leg and the patient's like just take it like I don't care just do it now but they're running low on stuff but the patient doesn't care they're just like take it now that's kind of kind of the energy that I'm getting from some like I'm getting from somebody I have to say like right before I hit record I entered Just, I feel like I'm in a state of ushering in energy so if that resonates with you then like you're getting it because I'm feeling it okay <clears throat> we got clouds with shape-shifting in the direct past with a current energy of spring equinox and the rebirth with dance and celebration and then you got eagle communion with your higher true self so what I'm picking up is that things are changing there was something that you were desiring okay and things are changing but it's changing because it is, it's basically rebirthing a new, like, like a fresh slate, a clean start. Um, so you're coming into a time of like celebration from it. Oh, you guys, it's like, um, I want to say with that rebirth card and that being the current energy and what I'm really picking up right now is kind of like a lot of knotted up stomachs. You are in the middle of this rebirth. It's really kind of scary. Um, and that's why you got that eagle card with that communion. It's, it's what I'm hearing. It's whispering. Like it's just, just right now with whatever it is that you're going through, you don't have to worry about focusing on any action. All you have to do is worry about focusing on like your breathing and having control over, um, hmm, having control over your body in a sense, because it, it's like your body's in a, in a constant state of stress right now with the, the shape shifting going on with this rebirth going on. Cause it's, um, It feels like it even comes in contraction-like um, patterns. 
and it when it hits you it kind of just takes your breath away um but what I'm being told is that it will it's going to smoothly start easing up and and go away and be able to transform into this like dance celebration um, I'm being told that just breathe and like just focus on making yourself as comfortable as you can um, don't put any kind of pressure on yourself this is naturally going to happen and the, the more you just kind of go okay you know I'm not feeling good so I'm staying in today and you breathe through whatever it is that you're going through um, even if that is like you know fend for yourself night um, it, it doesn't matter what it is like I need you to know energetically like what you're working through on an emotional mental level is really um, right now with the way that you're feeling reflecting that work with with your body it's like you're rebirthing something you're you know like something new is is coming in and energetically you're the one that's giving birth to it um but with that eagle communion card it's almost like when you're when you're in that state of having to take those deep breaths and you hear the encouraging words like you you can just hear them right inside your head and normally what I get is kind of like you know like knocking them down like you don't know what you're talking about kind of like this sucks um, think of that voice more as like somebody who's holding your hand in in being by your side as you're going through this process you know um, they're there to encourage you and comfort you and nourish you during this time so stop smacking them away you know and actually just just in a sense embrace it the best you can even if you can be like this hurts too much for me to be able to even comprehend what you were trying to say to me right now um then you got, look at that, you got the drum with consistency. And with that rebirth, you got the harvest card too. Because like I said, it feels like an actual rebirth. So it's not something that's going to take a while to come to harvest. It's actually like, pff, there you go. Alright, oh, and then you got the shaman with self-sacrifice underneath that dance and celebration okay and what's that saying is that when whatever it is that you that is being rebirthed as soon as it makes its appearance it's like all the struggle all the pain all the the awareness like if you could end what this rebirth was putting you through and just absorb it back into your body you would because it's it's that in like that that kind of intense but it's at the point like when you get to the stage you have no choice but to go with it um, it's going to be over soon and afterwards there's this new beautiful blessing all right it is ah, okay and it's it's destiny and it's funny because this is the first card in the deck and it's very much representative of all like you know all encompassing it's 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 the heaven and earth and everything you know it's it's all of it and then you've got the shaman which is the same energy but in a base in basically a human form somebody that um, chooses in a sense from a place of faith to to step into basically a whole new reality life shift um, without even like who with it's like doing it and recognizing like it doesn't matter like I have like it they honestly it's just what their soul is drawn to do okay um, so that is really powerful coming in right now for you because it's almost like with <clears throat> I'm sorry <clears throat> with both of these energies coming in and with the drum 
with the consistency, it means you have been steadily making, steadily making, like consistently staying in this balanced state, okay? And with that shaman card and the, and the destiny card as well, you've got the alliance card that comes up as well. And it's almost like because you are now flawlessly being able to stay in a, in a, in a, an awareness flow is what I'm hearing. All of a sudden it's like your pit crew got bigger. So if like you're a race car driver and you know at first your pit crew was okay, they didn't, you know, whatever. But all of a sudden it's like because of your consistency and the constant improvement in the way that you drive, it's almost like, like the universe's energy, mother and father energy are just kind of looking like, yep, it's, you know, look at him. He's, you know, yep ready for that you know you're ready for it and all of a sudden it's like a the car changes the motor changes um, the pit crew changes and there's extra perks that's the kind of energy coming in what are you um, that's where this alliance card is coming in and in a sense it's already started happening and you've been made aware of it. So what you are doing right now is like you don't, in a sense, it's a purification time as well because you're looking around and you've got all this new coming in, right? You're basically giving birth. So you wanna look around and, and like be able to see is, um, Is there anything in here that's going to be bad? Is there anything in here that's rotting? You know, you, you get, that is what this time is also about, is this purification, okay? But with that being said, this part, what you're going through right now is extremely exhausting, but in a sense, it's, it's your, you know, if you look at it as a rebirth, you know, when you were pregnant, you spent, like, if you're pregnant, you spend every second of every day building a human being, okay? So technically, I like to, like, say that if you're pregnant, you could be laying in your bed with your feet up and drinking ice water and, and eating carrots and hummus and it would still be as if you were working full-time building a bridge <laughs> because you're building a human being and then you don't get a break from like as soon as the human being is built like you've got to in a sense like go through the work of the labor it is it is exhausting but <laughs> you're getting through it because you have the stamina you have the endurance all right yeah we're gonna we're gonna end it at that because I am hearing that that is it we will continue this on Vimeo um, so if you feel guided to follow that link is below if you feel guided to reach out as well if you are kind of like are you, you're talking about heaven and earth stuff and shaman spiritual stuff and I have been experiencing weird shit like that but I feel like I'm crazy my email address is below you are not going crazy and I am holding space for you to be able to like put out everything that is happening to you and be able for you to complete your picture and give you that clarity and understanding for you so if you're alone and you feel alone and you're just like oh my goodness you've been asking for somebody to be able to talk to my email address is below all right and i will see you guys in a couple of weeks love you